This is my favorite yeast calculator. It's free, it's online, you can find it at yeastcalculator.com. Uh, it might look like a lot up front, but it's actually really easy to use. Let me just run through uh, the batch that I'm making right now. So this is actually going to be an ale, but if it were a lager, you can select that here. I'm doing five and a half gallons into the fermenter. Uh, this is going to be 1055, and we can see here it tells me I need 211 billion cells. Well, the problem is the yeast vial from White Labs that I get is only 100 billion. So I need a little more than double uh, what's in that vial. The aeration method does matter and it will calculate that for you. I like to choose Jamil Zanishev's stir plate aeration method. Uh, it's the one I started with, so it's the one I continue to use. If you prefer the Troaster, that's totally fine. Just make sure you use the same one each time so you can keep your results consistent. It's all about your process. I'm gonna do a 1.2 liter starter instead of a two liter starter because uh, if I do two liters in my two liter Erlenmeyer flask, I get uh, blow off and I waste a lot of yeast. So I just do 1.2. Knowing that I may not quite get all 242, I may end up somewhere around what I actually want, which is 211. That basically is all the calculation I need to know how many cells I need. Now that doesn't actually tell me how to make my starter. So we come over here to the DME calculator. DME is dry malt extracts, you can see there. And this is why I love this tool so much, because it's right here. A lot of the yeast calculators out there, they just do this part over here and tell you how much you need at the end and they don't help you figure this out at least not on the same screen but this is so stupid easy I love it you know I like my starter to have the same gravity as my beer the volume of my starter once again is going to be 1.2 liters as I stated over here and that tells me I need 6.33 ounces of DME added to 1.2 liters of water and that's it that's how I make my starter. That combination right there will give me this gravity in my starter. Personally, I like to use grams. So you can come over here to the options, switch this over to grams, save those settings. Now I see I need 179.99, which I'm obviously gonna round up to 180, and that's a lot easier of a measurement to make. And I'm off to make my starter. Hope that was helpful. If you need to know the next step of the process, check out my video on making a starter.